Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Find Out, the show that gives you all you need to know on the ins and the outs of the automotive world. Brought to you by VHICS. Oversteering, understeering, safe cornering. I'm told I do all these things, but I don't know what they are and when I'm even doing them. I'm your host, Jeff Wilson, and today's episode is all about handling characteristics, what to do and when to do it. Vehicle handling is a crucial part of the driving experience. Whether you're concerned with performance or safety, we're going to find out how to get it all done today with our handling head honcho, Michael Pettiford. Michael, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Now, I hear the term handling characteristics. What does that even mean? Well, all handling is is a car's ability to turn and corner and brake and how the car rides. What are the major factors that affect handling? Well, the major components of handling are, of course, tires, wheels, brakes, springs, shocks, sway bars, center of gravity of the car, okay. that just means how high it is up sure. off the ground. All of those things affect how a vehicle handles. So for a vehicle like, I don't know, the Mustang GT500, <laughs> and that. a standard SUV, how do their handling characteristics change? Well, on dry pavement, the sports car, like the Mustang, is going to have the advantage because as long as the traction is really good, the Mustang is going to stop better, it's going to turn better, it's going to accelerate better. Okay. Adverse conditions. Who wins in that situation? Well, then the tables are kind of turned because the same nice, fat, wide tire that does really well on dry pavement, now on snow or ice, a narrower tire actually gives you a little bit better traction. What can the driver do to affect handling characteristics? Well, in any adverse situation, the driver is always the number one thing that helps you avoid accidents. <laughs> and smoothness is the name of the game. So, whenever you're driving in adverse conditions, okay. the driver wants to be smooth on the brakes, smooth on the steering, and smooth on the accelerator. Because if you're abrupt on any one of these, it can break traction and put you into a slide. In the beginning, we touched on oversteering, understeering, safe cornering. What do those terms mean? Well, understeer is, is very easy. When you turn the wheel and the car doesn't turn, it still goes straight. Okay. It's understeering or pushing or plowing. Okay. Okay. When you turn the wheel a little bit, or sometimes you don't even turn the wheel, and the rear end of the car comes around, that is oversteering, and that's happened to just about everybody. And safe corner, what would that be? That's just when the car doesn't oversteer or understeer, it just goes through the corner very well balanced. Okay, I'm a consumer and I'm trying to buy a car and I'm looking on VHICS, are there any things I need to be looking for as far as handling characteristics that can help me make a good buying decision? Um, most of the like the salespeople will know how the car handles, okay. so you should just ask them, and you don't even have to use words like understeer and oversteer, you can just ask them, is this a good handling car, and is it a good handling car in adverse conditions? Well, there you have it. We've got handling from the car, handling from the driver, everything in between. Thanks to Michael, our expert, for bringing us all this knowledge. Thanks to Discount Master Auto Repair in Longmont, Colorado, for having us out. I'm your host, Jeff Wilson. This has been Let's Find Out. We'll see you on the next episode, brought to you by VHICS.